For the commentary done by Diggity. This is the upper bracket round starting off on Neo Dark Origin, and it's Overwatch. Overwatch is the map that it reminded me of. It, it was taking me forever to remember what the, the for, what the map was. It was uh, featured in BSL Season 15. But I think the major difference is, is Neo Dark Origin has more ramps to work with. There's there was only the single ramp, but the like wide travel path is very very similar. I like the architecture of maps like this. I think they're fun. I feel like it ends up being somewhat balanced as well. And also, it's just it just creates interesting games, just flat out interesting games. Raz and this is going to be an interesting matchup. Raz upper left hand corner as the blue Protoss, bottom right hand corner Gypsy is the red Terran. This is the I would say arguably so Raz, Jayun, trying to think, TT1 up there. Arguably the top, a Dragon, Boa, those are the other two guys I'm forgetting. But basically Raz, I would argue, is a top five Protoss. And Gypsy, it's hard not to say that he's not the number one Terran out there. Arguably the number one Terran. At the moment. Agreed. Twitch chat saying blue maps are cool. I agree. It looks like Raz wants to go ahead. Now, he likes playing aggressive early in his Terran game, really mixing it up and really being frustrating. Is he going to go for... Oh, man. Probe staying on the edge, and I think this might actually be... Never mind. I was thinking he might... Oh, I think you debated it. Going for the gas steal. So dropping the gas steal to start. He's got a forward gateway behind this. For a second there, I thought he might be opting to go for pylons in the dark to the north. Gypsy going ahead and moving out, wants to get eyes out in the field, see how many zealots he's up against, and how quickly Raz is potentially going to transition. One problem with this is that I think there are places to build forward gates, and forward gates with a gas steel is a lot more threatening, and yet you just have to play it a lot differently than just straight gates coming out. So seeing the gateway at the natural expansion might drop an engineering bay. That tends to be a natural response as well to go ahead and blockade out that natural expansion. Raz harassing that SCV. The SCV of Gypsy not letting it sit standard. You can see the really solid micro on Gypsy's part. SCVs do not have the best firing time, but still able to get pretty good damage on that probe to force it out. Probe's actually pulling off the line to deal with the SCV to the north as well. First zealot away, second zealot in construction. We already have a marine and two SCVs working on that assimilator. Getting that assimilator up and running is critical. And it looks like, okay, now dropping the engineering bay. Wanted to see whether there was an attempt at an additional base. So that might get him. It's going to be feisty, both directions. Probe, uh, looks like he's going to pause. Second probe coming to home base. We'll see if he ends up being the aggressor. A bunker on the low ground. The zealot going to be able to walk right by it, though. So it's three Marines. Now we'll see how Gypsy deals with this. Keep in mind, this is zero latency conditions. Already splitting two to the north. Solid defense. Fourth Marine out, and that should be sufficient. So the Zealot looks like Raz actually seen that fourth Marine out, potentially. Ooh, didn't exit it far enough, so going to take some base damage, but just going to retreat entirely and get his natural expansion. The second Zealot actually didn't join the fray. Instead, just worked... On the command center, SCV did get taken out by the battle probe. It was half a second late to get the spotting. Assimilator warping in behind this. This does create a significant delay on the Dragoons to follow this up. So it does allow for some threatening follow-up play with factory. And I like seeing some volt a double factory follow-up with some mines out in the field in response to that early zealot pressure. But we've got a couple zealots moving down towards the natural expansion. We've got three... And Gypsy already on top of it, just in case there was a run by. Look at this nice... The command center being part of the blockade here. Sending out another SCV scout. Sees the three zealots. And is going to be able to skirt and get around. Now, he's not going to... Uh, Raz is not going to be able to deny information for quite some time. Because that cybernetic score just finishing. So it'll be a while. And built a fourth zealot. Look at that. The zealots returning to home base. Rather than going for a run by. Raz is invested very heavily... This is 400 minerals of early game zealots. And we do see the double factory follow up here from Gypsy in response. Probes blockading the ramp. We are seeing a robotics facility. Let's see if this turns into a bulldog or pseudo bulldog with two additional gateways behind this and going for zealot bombs plus dragoons 
to try to go for a forward block. Good job on Raz's part, at least denying the additional information. Let's see if Gypsy is persistent with it. Could take the SCV all the way around to the rear because there are... You do have the minerals back here. I'm trying to think how many... I think it's actually three trips that would require it, though. So there's no way to get the mineral turn. With that first Dragoon out, that should be information denial from this stage. But even with that initial aggression... Engineering Bay being built. I'm expecting to see mines upgraded immediately. And we're actually seeing a Siege Tank and a Vulture to follow. I was actually wanting to see initial Vulture play. Because the single Dragoon is just not that threatening. That's what it comes down to. As it's making it its way across the ramp. And a good minefield on this map in particular. Boxing a Protoc. You could end up kind of with the reverse containment. Delayed range. Shuttle being constructed, and we have a robotic support bay actually being placed at the natural expansion, maybe to try to dodge some comsat. But Gypsy actually skipping uh, comsat altogether, getting plus one weapons a little bit earlier. He is upgrading mines, has his first siege tank out, and he already has the engineering bay covering that turret at the natural expansion. So going kind of a loose defense. SCV dies on the front. A vulture was able to sneak out. Now, now the question for Gypsy is the mine coverage. Ooh. Speed also being upgraded behind this. The mine coverage could be absolutely vital because if he places these mines in really key areas, he might be able to see that shuttle on its way out. Instead, it looks like he wants to play them, uh, place them along the bridge entrances. Dragoon sailing back, eats one of the mines and dies. Gypsy going for a third mine. Looks like that is going to explode. And wow, Raz going for a quick third Nexus, playing very greedy, so wants to rely on Zealot Reaver Aggression to push Gypsy back. Hope Gypsy that is playing much more defensively and that he isn't going for an aggressive counter and basically cause some disruption to try to keep him playing a little bit more defensively. It looks like, yeah, Gypsy was expecting some sort of aggression. He's got that engineering bay and barracks sealing up that front door, more, line, more mines being planted. And Raz making a huge mistake, moving that shuttle full in that spider mine's view. A player of Gypsy's caliber certainly would have seen that. So now the seat, look at the movement immediately. And additional missile turrets and mines being planted to the north. That's really going to negate, even with the speed, potentially the efficacy. So Raz being a little bit impatient with that shuttle route. It might cost him, still able to get underneath at least the initial turret. Zealot being dropped, was hoping for a mind drag, nothing there. The Reaver drops, going for a shot, gets a handful of SCVs, but the Reaver doesn't get a second shot. The shuttle's gone, and actually that few, that small an SCV count, not that big a deal, honestly, for Gypsy. Now getting that Academy up, especially with the third Nexus coming online. Supply counts are very, very close. Raz actually behind in the overall supply count versus Gypsy. He's still only running off two gateways. He's relying on that shuttle and that reaver to provide a lot of distractionary pressure to keep Gypsy back. And now Gypsy starting to move out on the map. It looks like he's going to grab a third of his own. Vulture's finding the third up here. Actually going to be able to get some counter kills very, very easily. Again, because of that low troop count. Good play overall. Thus far, quick response. So Gy Gypsy instead going the more Mac route. He does have three factories behind this. Waiting for that second army to get dropped. He's got plus one weapons already. But already sealing up, feeling that lack of pressure. Speed Shuttle now moving in has found the third. Is it going to be able to drop away from the mines? And outside of that... Siege tank range to stop that SCV. It looks like not. And now Raz actually able to get lucky because Gypsy spreading a lot of his troops out. One hit right there, getting some splash damage on the siege tanks as well. Really might want to get that SCV that's building the armory. A lot of targets here, but Raz not able to drop is just kind of perusing. They were instead going and dropping underneath, gets a, a vulture, no splash on the siege tank. Going to be able to kill a few Marines. So this is what he was hoping for earlier. Big shot on the Reaver. It looks like there's going to be a dud right there. And pushing at a turret range. That could have been a lot worse for Gypsy. He could have ended up losing this SCV that was building that army. That would have slowed down 
plus one armor considerably. Could have killed the SCV that was building the command center as well. That didn't end up happening. Raz moving out to grab a fourth on a base where, honestly, this map, that's a very risky fourth to, to take. Flurry of Compsats going ahead and checking out the scenario. Dragoon's eating a little bit of mines, having trouble getting across to midfield. They are at midfield now. The Vulture is on the low ground. The Dragoon's not quite in position to engage them. Not going to stop that Nexus, but at least is they're going to spot it. And there's not going to be additional cannons or anything else dropped. So Raz playing a little bit more aggressively forward now. He's got five gateways. Templar Archives moving towards Arbiter Tech, it looks like. I don't know that he's going to be in time, though, because, Ra because Gypsy, first of all, is very close in supply. Dropped this third incredibly rapidly, which means he's going to be able to get that factory count up extremely quickly as well. The shuttle harassment, honestly... There are a lot of opportunities for Raz to do some critical damage, but missed a few of those critical opportunities. One uh, slowing down that command center and that armory as well, although it looks like he's going to end up with bonus because that armory has been forgotten. So we'll at least end up in an advant uh, advantageous situation right there. A couple Goliaths being produced to help compensate and deal with that additional pressure. But I worry about Raz's ability to get that mid game. It looks like he's gonna build High Templar. Maybe he'll play a little bit more shuttle heavy in the mid game to try to uh, protect those High Templar. But right now I'm concerned with his ability to just have the raw amount of late game tech to deal with a 2-1 push. Although it will be just probably at level two weapons push because Gypsy missing that armor upgrade briefly. I'm not sure that he's going to rectify that for quite some time. Engineering base spotting the shuttle to the north. 20 supply lead for Raz. For, so actually he's done a pretty good job of equalizing things. I like the high Templar mix in. I'm not sure I like playing gateway man considering how quickly that third was up. But we'll see if it pays out. High Templar engaging at this location with Psy Storm can be absolutely brutal. And if you can sneak High Templar to the south and just walk them up, good Psy Storm fodder at multiple locations, even drop them up on the high ground here, you can storm from the rear. So Psy Storm complete, High Templar out. Will Raz be able to protect those High Templar as the game moves into later stages, however? We've got a very healthy factory count for Gypsy. He's still just utilizing two machine shops rather than three so that siege tank count not going to be as scary plus two weapons has finished working on plus one uh plus one armor goliath's just checking out that right hand side shuttle moving in two high templar in tow none of them getting dropped on that low wow that's a lot of siege tanks zealots dropping initially high one high templar manages he does get the scvs but i don't know that it was worth all of that gas and the shuttle should be a quick rebuild for Gypsy overall. Good attempt on Raz parts regardless. Has actually opened up a considerable supply lead. We'll see if that gets negated via some positioning because, yeah, and it looks like it is going to be more shuttle style rather than High Templar. This is going to be critical area right now. Science vessel nearby. To drop EMP rat. The rest of Raz's army currently not in position to engage at the bridges where it was going to be difficult to move them across. Loses the Reavers in the shuttle. Loses the High Templar as well. And where Raz had, honestly, he had, was in a good position right there if his army was just ready to jump on top of the troops that were right on this edge. But now Gypsy's been able to open this up. Plus one armor just about to finish. You have High Templar that are going to have to avoid Vultures on the low ground, and Gypsy slowly taking territory as he presses forward. And this is the difficulty for Protoss at this stage. There's not a lot of territory where you can sneak around. If you seed the middle of the map, you seed those bridges, potentially. And getting across those bridges and not getting your army pinned in is a difficult proposition as well. Gypsy moving up those vultures, picking off at least a High Templar. And now Raz has the problem. How does he engage this and get any sort of efficient trade 
without losing the entirety of his army. Gypsy grabbing that additional base at the 3 o'clock. Sistrom catching a couple of those units. Raz trying to crash into this army before it crashes into him. High Templar dying left and right. Does he get a big storm, though, on these bunched up High Templar? No, but Zealot's able to get there. Now, finally, a follow-up Sistrom. And Raz actually doing a great job of spreading the units out and resetting the siege tank count where he wasn't able to land with a lot of the Sistrom in his belt. He was able to get rid of all of the siege tanks. And keep in mind, Gypsy was sitting on double machine shop for quite some time. I'll have to move back to see whether he's added the third or not. Raz remacroing, doing a pretty good job and disrupting the third. More zealots getting on top of siege tanks here. Critical mind drag picking off a lot of them. And I think that might be the... So we got a siege tank down here. We got, what, two siege tanks left. The game opening up massively for Raz. Three o'clock base getting disrupted and pushed back. Raz going to go ahead and grab top right. Instantly comsatted. Some vultures moving up. That should force Raz back to defend this. The vultures might actually be able to force that nexus down. So that'll be a recovery win for Gypsy. Dropping a pylon. Actually, let's see if Raz gets the cancel. Hasn't moved units. He's continued to try to actually move down and assail the lower natural, which is going to... It looks like it cost him that top right. Finally grouping up some troops. Has opened up a 20 supply lead. However, he's having some trouble getting some troops into mid map want to come back and see what the machine shop count is yeah now that third machine shop being dropped out of necessity i actually wouldn't be shocked to see gypsy drop a fourth uncharacteristically size storm drop at the third in the meantime but vultures engaging at the nine o'clock going to be able to wipe out a lot of probes right there gypsy hurting on the worker count overall raz opening up a 50 supply lead and actually in a good position to take this if he can go ahead and clear up Take top right, continue to deny the three o'clock, and hold this mid ground. It's going to be a challenge though, because Gypsy out on the field with those vultures being annoying, picking off some high Templar, etc. This is kind of, I like the, the style of this. It reminds a little bit of Scan, where just in these sort of situations, just start moving vultures all over the map, create time to get those siege tanks back out and play from there. In the meantime, it looks like we're having a plus. Are we going to a carrier switch? I, I feel like this is unnecessary. So we have the double forge. I'm trying to find out, but we have a plus one weapons upgrade, which usually means there's going to be a movement to carriers at some point. Trying to find out where that star Stargate's been dropped. It's hidden for me. He's got this well hidden wherever it's at. I only saw it because it was in the, uh, the production tab. I have no idea where it's at right this second. Three o'clock base, Raz engaging. So good job to Raz. Cleaning up the vultures, etc. there at that corner. Let's do one more perusal to see if we can spot it. Man, where is it? There it is. In the corner, currently silent. No Templar archives as well. Zealot's able to sneak in on that siege tank again. It looked, but more siege tanks moving up. The command center trying to float out, taking some damage from the Dragoons. It's in the red, so it's going to be need to be refloated. A good size storm right there. Raz, however, all of a sudden, Miss Macrowing. Vulture's picking off some units across other locations. So where Raz was in a good position is faltering on his macro a bit and allowing Gypsy to catch up. So Gypsy going to take that three o'clock. More Dragoons dying mid-map, it looks like. A couple Dragoons sneaking out. I think they want to check bottom left. Still hasn't been able to take top right. And all of a sudden, Raz's fortunes might have reversed. So main is mined out. Natural expansion very thin. Two bases up and running. Let's look for the SCV transfer there. Vultures have just been fantastic for Gypsy. Continuing to press in and push those Dragoons back across the map. Seizing map control. Almost willfully. Nine o'clock. So we got, so it's two base versus two base and, and a supply deficit, which means if things continue as they are, Gypsy is going to be able to continue to climb out of this, killing a probe that was trying to get bottom left to build a base. And again, this is the problem with Dark Origin trying to play macro Protoss or really trying to play any macro game past three bases is what can you take 
that you can defend. All of the additional bases past the initial three are, are just far distances away from your main and almost closer to your opponent's base, which again is why it ends up being so interesting. But we're, ugh, this is unfortunate though, because Raz now going for a double Stargate carrier switch in response to this. And I think that's giving Gypsy opportunity even though he's at a, at a lower worker count, I think intelligently, maybe not building additional SCVs, recognizing that it doesn't go, but that it's near impossible to take upper right, bottom left. So just stick to the two base saturation and play from there wisely, where Gypsy, or sorry, where Raz may be looking to take an additional base. And we have Siege Tank and Mine up to the north, blockading that. We have a single Vulture bottom left to deny that. And Gypsy now careening into the low ground and the carrier is just not there in time to stop this nexus from dropping so all of a sudden Raz going to be down to a single base and a lot of he's got a sizable army but mostly trapped actually pretty decent upgrades behind it as well but this is now 3-1 mech with that science vessel to spot over the high ground gypsy repositioning might want to even siege up along that low side ramp. This is a bad engagement for Raz because he's having to go single file across the ramp edge and that allows the vultures to get the mines down. The siege tanks get in position. Gypsy exploiting the opportunity. I don't know if he recognized the carrier switch or not. I don't see a lot of Goliath's interior. So now Raz floating on a prayer, hoping that he can get the carrier count sizable enough and catch Gypsy off guard. Single Goliath here bottom left. Raz with a lot of troops looking to re-engage. The other problem with the carrier count, this is actually a pretty good map for carriers now that I think about it. There's a lot of map features to make something happen there. And there's a lot of territory where you can just abuse the edges, but they're expensive. And so Raz is going to have to be very, very careful with that carrier count. Once it's up, okay, now running at least at three gate. And unfortunately, I don't know that he, it'll be a while. Usually you want to hope you catch that before the weapon upgrades are really there to make a, a big dent on the interceptor count. And I don't know that he's going to have time to get the plus one weapons. The interceptor is going to be very, very fragile. Gypsy with a big supply lead, but those carriers could be an X factor and they, they can really abuse the bridges potentially. Nothing but red mid map right this second though. Gypsy not making any motions to grab additional territory. I, <laughs> I stand corrected. Is going to take top right, dropping some pylons and some high Templar that are cleared out. And now Raz's fleet starts to make motions. Will it be sufficient? We've got eight Goliaths, not massive. EMP hitting some High Templar. Raz now engaging. EMP hits all of the carriers, but these bridges just impossible to cross. So the carrier is able to hunt down the few Goliaths that are there, getting a little bit too far out there a little bit too excited but should be at least be able to defend against the siege tanks the problem is as far as a follow-up raz has no resources right now so he's got to win it with just the five carriers and gypsy's got income coming in from that top right and that three o'clock base so he's just out macroing him right now and is going to be able to continue to push goliath out here and starve raz out units to the north not able to join in it was a good thought. Just hard to pull off. And the Goliaths continuing to press up and push those carriers back. You have a whole bunch of probes sitting idle and Siege Tank's in position. So Raz giving a hell of a match, but I think that's going to be GG here. As Raz down to 13 minerals, five carriers, sorry, eight carriers now. Some size storm. I still don't think this is going to be sufficient. Is hoping to keep that Goliath count low. Comsat catching it. The High Templar not able to provide support. Yeah, there's GG. Very, very close match. 
Could have gone either way, multiple stages. Exciting one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.